Hey guys, my name is Dave, and welcome to another video. So, after a bit of thought on the matter, I kind—I pretty much decided I wanted to talk about what you see in the title, or if you're not reading it, then. Um, I wanted to discuss my thoughts on emulators. So, for the most part, I can understand why a lot of people use them. Emulators are the kind of thing that if you don't have like, the capabilities of, like, being able to do something, like, on a TV or on a computer. Normally, that's when you download an emulator. If you're trying to make it show, like, on one of those two screens and you have no other way of doing it. But there are some circumstances where, for, for the most part, emulators I'm not really fond of. There are some exceptions to this, though. Good example of this is Hyperkin's Retron series of consoles. Uh, for those who don't know what that is, it's basically there are consoles that play um, very old school games. For example, this Legend of Zelda Oracle of Seasons. Those who watch my second videos each day know that. I am actually doing that game currently. I'm doing it through an emulator, but I am actually still playing off of this particular cartridge. That's because of the Retron that I was just talking about a moment ago. Uh, what the Retron is, it's... So, the one I have plays... It's one console that plays games from Game Boy, Game Boy Advance... Nintendo Entertainment System, Sega Genesis, Famicom, Super Famicom, and Super Nintendo. Very old school, as I said before. But, when it comes to this kind of stuff, I will not download online emulators of these kind of things for the sole purpose that I feel like it's... Now, this is my own personal opinion. I'm not saying this is exactly what it is, because in a way it's not, but in a way it is. Um, theft. It's, I, to me, in my mind, it feels like sometimes it's like stealing from a creator. Now, if it's an old game that no one pays attention to, like there's actually a game out there called LSD for the PlayStation 1 that was its exclusive, I believe, Japanese release only, um, if I remember correctly. If I were to download an emulator for, I believe it was for the PlayStation 1, if I were to download a PS1 emulator and play that, then it wouldn't bother me. Or if I were to download an emulator for a phone, and then only for the sole purpose of playing um, games that are for stuff like that, that's fine. For the reason I think this is okay is because emulators where you end up paying proper money to the proper individuals who originated the stuff, that's where I think it's okay. That's also why I don't mind uh, the NSO service. Um, Nintendo Switch Online, for those who don't know, by the way. Most of you probably do already, though. Um, but the reason I don't mind that is because you're paying the creators for emulating their own projects onto a console that's in the distant future from the point in time when those ideas came to fruition. Um, but emulators where it's a third-party company emulating a first-party thing without consent, and if it's with consent, then they better have a lot of money. But the, those kind of emulations, I don't condone. I don't. I don't agree with. Now, this is just my personal opinion on it. I'm sure there are many people in the world who have a different opinion. I mean, there's a reason you never see a 3DS game on here. Otherwise, you probably would have seen a Link Between Worlds already. Um, because that was at the time it came out was one of my favorites. Up until Breath of the Wild, but anyway, I don't know. My thoughts on emulations are different from most people's, but that is what they are. Just mine. What do you guys...
how do you guys feel about that kind of stuff? Uh, let us know in the comments below. Want to check out any other discussion rant type videos? Click the link on the side of my head over here, um, where you'll be able to find uh, quite a few, over 250 at this point. I don't think it's quite 300 yet, though. Um, Want to check out anything that might float your boat a bit more? Click the link on this side, where uh, the platform will give you a link to something you may enjoy a little bit more than this. In the meantime, though, I'm going to head off. Thanks again for tuning in this video, guys, and we hope to catch all of you in another. See you guys later.